Hey everyone, thank you for watching. This is the first video of the Back to College series and it's going to be a hair and a makeup tutorial. So as you can see, I kept it quite simple. This is just a very low, quite low ponytail. Low ponytail with a little bump or banana or volume, call it, call it whatever you like. I just like that look when you have a little bump on your head when you're having a ponytail just so that your head don't look too flat I don't like the look of it and yeah so that's basically it and for makeup as you can see I kept it quite simple too just uh, BB cream, powder, bronzer, uh, blush well all the stuff you put on your face every day and um, as you will see I tried to keep it quite practical as in I uh, used most of my face products I used on my eyes too so you'll just see not more than 10 products I guess I used so just it's just practical I think I'm not just the kind of person who loves to use 17 palettes in the morning especially when I have to go out to school so I mostly just use my bronzer on my crease and stuff like that you will see it in some minutes so if you want to know how to create this makeup look and this hair keep on watching okay let's get started so first of all apply your regular moisturizer this is just the Marie Lou Bio daytime cream it's a sample size I'll just apply it all over my face and let it sink while I'll be doing my hair I'm also moisturizing my lips because I'll be using a lip stain, this is just a regular lip balm by Yves Rocher. And now time to lay down the hair. To start I'll just be brushing my ends. And next taking a dry shampoo, this is the cherry flavored one by Baptiste. And because I'm having quite some oily roots this day, I'm just spraying it all over my roots and I'll be working it with my fingers. I think dry shampoos are some really good products because they really save you a good amount of time and I've been really liking this lately. Okay next I'll be sectioning my hair and just taking the top parts of my hair and just securing it as you can see here. And next I'm just taking a tiny little comb and I'll just be brushing all my other hair through and really making it soft and smooth and nice looking. Just brush it as you go and secure it on the back of your head with a rubber. Really on the back of your head, it doesn't need to be too high or too low, just on the back. Okay, now I'll be sectioning that ponytail and just curling the ends with a curling iron. This is just by Babyliss. I'll just be doing some random curls. And next, I'll be brushing them just to make them look really soft and wavy and nice looking. And just spraying some hairspray on them just to keep them in place all day long. Okay, time to work on that top part. I'll just section it in three parts. Take back that little tiny comb and just brushing my hair backwards as you can see. And I'll just really lightly brush on the top just to soften it again. And with my fingers, I'll just make sure everything on the sides of my head are in one single level just to make it look soft and even and secure it with some bobby pins on the back of my hand again and just taking the hair that's left and just swirling it around that rubber i attach my hair with just to hide it and because i really love the look of the um, hair attached with your hair if i can see that and just securing it with some bobby pins again okay i'll be taking some hairspray and just fixing it and that's it for the hair 
And now on the front part, makeup. Okay, that moisturizer already sinked in. I'll just be taking my primer. This is by L'Oreal. It's the Miracle Blur. And I'll just apply it all over my face. Next, taking a BB cream, I'll just apply it on my face again. And I'm just taking a BB cream because it doesn't have too much coverage, it's not cakey, it has an SPF protection. And next, taking my concealer, just hiding my dark circles and adding some coverage whenever, wherever I need it, if I have some blemishes or anything. This is the Fit Me Concealer by Maybelline. And I'll just be blending this with my fingers. Priming is super important, as you can see, I'm just priming my eyelids with the Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC and I'll take my e.l.f. eyebrow kit as usual and taking just a Essence angled brush, taking the gel and filling my brows in and as usual I'll just take the powder and set everything in place. Next, taking that same concealer I used earlier and just taking a synthetic brush, I'll just be concealing and highlighting under my brows just to clean everything out. And now I'll set my face. This is the MAC Studio Fix Powder. I'll use it to set my entire face and I'll even be taking it on a fluffier brush to set that concealer under my brows. Now onto the star of the show, this is the sleek face foam palette in the shade light. I'll start off by taking the bronzer and really really bronzing my skin because that BB cream was way too light for me, I'm having a tan right now. And just really bronzing my skin, I'm not contouring, just applying tons and tons of bronzer just all over my face, my temples, my nose, my chin. And next, just taking the blush of the palette. This is just a lovely peachy pink blush with gold reflect. Just applying it on my cheekbones. Okay, now taking a fluffy eye crease brush and just that bronzer. I'll be just running it in my socket. And with the pencil brush, just taking that same bronzer and running it all over my lower lash line. With a flat shader brush, I'll just be taking the highlighter of the palette and applying it as my lid color. And now just taking a dark blue eye pencil, this is by Chanel, all the products are listed down below. I'll just be using this to line my upper lash line, just keeping it really close to my roots. Next, apply a nice coat of your favorite mascara on your top and bottom lashes as well, of course. Just taking that lip balm excess out of my lips, I'll be taking one of my favorite lip stains by e.l.f. These are not available in Morocco, sorry for that, but you can take whatever pink you like or other color that suits you really well and I'll just be dabbing this with my fingertips on my mouth. This is a lip stain so it's matte, to give it a little bit of a shine, I'll be adding some of the clear lip gloss of the stain on my lips and dabbing it with my fingers. And this is it girls, I hope you like this hair and makeup back to college tutorial. Let me know what you think in the comments down below and don't forget to like the video and to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you all very soon. Kisses babes, bye bye.